Welcome, Spray Lock Nation, to another glorious day here in Chattanooga, Tennessee, because that's all we have here. You know, I recently said to somebody that Disneyland ain't got anything on where I work. I mean, talk about the happiest place on earth. I love my job. Absolutely. I love getting to talk about concrete. I love the way our products work within concrete. Today, Brent, well, let's talk about drying shrinkage, what that does. I know we've had a video on plastic shrinkage. Yeah. So the next iteration would obviously go to the next type, which is drying shrinkage and what that does. You mean, you mean like laundry? Yes, of course, like laundry. Oh, you know, okay. you put a shirt in, the washer, throw in the dryer, heat it up a little bit, comes out a little smaller, a little snug. You went from a large shirt to a schmedium. Uh, okay. you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, great, Josh, thanks. So, so drying shrinkage is the next one, and, and drying shrinkage is a different animal. And the reason we, we wanted to tackle shrinkage in this way, plastic and drying, is because sometimes they're confused and people will inter, intermix the terms, and, and drying shrinkage is, is certainly a different animal. Remember, well, the timing comes really close together. You go from one right into the other one, and right. because of that, and because they, they do affect the, the amount of moisture there, it, it, it can be confusing to people. Absolutely. So, so drying shrinkage happens, as, as we mentioned, concrete's at its greatest volume when it's first batched in place. So, so it gets to the job, it's placed, and then it begins to lose water. And it loses water through bleed water channels, uh, capillary void structure. That bleed, that bleeding occurs, and then evaporable water starts leaving the system. Well, think about it like this: If you ever seen a dry creek bed or a dry mud hole, you see how the, it used to be wet, but then it dried out, and now you have a lot of cracks in the bottom of the mud hole or the bottom of the creek bed. A similar action is happening with concrete. As water is leaving, then that concrete wants to shrink. Now, if we poured concrete in a vacuum in outer space then it would never have drying shrinkage cracking because it would not be restrained. It right. would be weightless and it would not be restrained. But in reality, on, on today's, in, well, today's world, as if this is time, you know, anyway. <laughs> well, well, we're not time part. bound right now? I mean, you know, I mean, come We'll on. cut that part. No, I like it. Let's just keep <laughs> stay time bound. And today's concrete, as before concrete, prehistoric concrete didn't have as much restraint as, well, as it did, needed. Especially before plumbing. Um, so <laughs> Yeah, indoor plumbing, a whole lot of restraint. <laughs> Reinforcing indoor. steel, again, more restraint. Yeah. Pretty much we've restrained concrete as we get smarter and, and more technology. Yeah. And so, we'll cut all this out. <laughs> so when, when the concrete goes to shrink and it's restrained by either the ground, blockouts, uh, reentrant corners, plumbing, you name it, then when that tensile stress that develops as it's shrinking and it can't move, is greater than the concrete can resist, then that's when you have cracks occur. And that's why we cut control joints or, or what are uh, more accurately called con contraction joints. Those contraction joints are cut to give the concrete a place to relieve itself from that tensile stress. Uh, and if you don't get them fast enough, then you get uncontrolled cracking and that, that no one really wants. Or if you don't get them deep enough. If you, if you, you know, the, the joints need to be at least a quarter of the depth of the slab, and if they're not deep enough, then uh, they may not function properly. Or if they're not working effectively either. Yeah, exactly. Or if they're spaced too far That's out. I mean, there, there's plenty of things that, that go into whether the joints are working enough. Yeah, so to... so <clears throat> drying shrinkage is, is commonly referred to as, as a leading cause, or a, and some people will say the number one cause of cracking in concrete. So nobody's ever going to tell you that, that they'll guarantee zero cracks in concrete. But uh, if you can understand drying shrinkage and understand how to control it, you can greatly improve your chances of having a pretty pretty concrete job. Yeah, truth about concrete, gets hard, it's cracked, sometimes hard to steal. <laughs> yeah. And I, and while they won't give you no, uh, you know, crack-free concrete, I do know of a couple of uh, Red Ames producers that used to tell me they charged $20 for every crack that they found inside of a, a concrete truck. Oh, that's good <laughs> stuff, yeah. Yeah, I used to, I used to uh, go out to job sites and, and, and when they were, people would complain about cracks in the concrete, I would say, Things like, uh, well, you got one crack in that in that floor. I, there was five in the truck when we sent it. What'd you do with the other four? You know, just just jokes like that. So, cracking and drying shrinkage is no joking matter, though we know that. It, 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 it concrete is an investment, and people expect their jobs to be done very very well. And cracks are unsightly, and they can cause folks to to feel like that that they haven't. Uh, gotten a good quality job if it if it occurs. So it's good to be aware of of drying right. shrinkage and how to how to combat it. And we'll talk about that some more. Well, yeah, but I mean, this goes beyond that. It's not just unsightly, but the ability for things to get inside your concrete oh, yeah. through those cracks yeah. can be an issue also. Absolutely, so we understand that it is no joking matter. It's not what it's cracked up to be. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. 
So thank you so much, Josh, for asking that question. Thank you for all your viewers for being interested in, in learning more about concrete. And uh, if we can help you in any way, learn uh, you know more about concrete, or if we can help you with a particular project, let us know. We're happy to, uh, we love concrete. And we're happy to help any way we can. Thank you.